brand synonymous with classy 4x4s. This is the baby in the family. This is the Range Rover Evoque. Originally designed and conceived with Victoria Beckham at hand, the Range Rover Evoque is still as seductive as ever. Taking a look at it from the outside, it's got these gorgeous sleek lines, these slashes, and an overall very attractive package. It's also the right proportions. It's small enough to maneuver around town, well, spacious enough to carry you in complete comfort. Inside, you find everything has got a very bespoke feel. You find that in the cabin, there's soft touch materials everywhere. Sound is gently oozed at you through the 11 speaker Meridian sound system. Up front, it features this gorgeous 8 inch touchscreen display as we saw in the Jaguar XE. A link will be in the description below. This is a very easy to use and clean interface. Left hand side, you've got quick launch into certain of your applications. On the right hand side, you've got media mode, navigation, and other applications. And on screen, a very similar tile style layout. In front it can be customized, for example right now I've got my media source, telephone and navigation. If I click to the left of the screen I have audio settings and even this is quite a nice one, screensaver settings. So if you turn off the screen you can set a, your own desired screensaver. If you go back you've got on the other side something called 4x4i which is quite a nice feature. This allows you to have a look at the vehicle's terrain response. It tells you where the differential is sending the power the position of your wheels as well as your drive mode. Going back to the main screen, the navigation is also quite nice here in the Range Rover. It's done with 3D mapping. Overall just a very clean and nicely laid out interface and very similar to that featuring throughout the Jaguar Land Rover product liner. You've got this, rise, this gear selector which rises up and it powers a 9-speed automated gearbox and Land Rover have done a very good job of this too. Power delivery through its 2.2 litre diesel engine in the SD4 edition I'm driving today is not only very brisk, it delivers power incredibly well throughout the entire rev range. They claim it to have a combined fuel consumption of 6.3 litres to 100 kilometres and it's a figure I'm inclined to believe this Range Rover really sips fuel. Apart from this, it's also a fantastically easy car to maneuver around town. Thanks to its short overhangs, it also remains very capable of road. The Range Rover features something known as the Terrain Response System, and this allows you to select various drive modes, whether it be for snow and ice, mud or sand. The Range Rover will just make light work of the job at hand. To its 500 millimeter wading depth it also remains an incredibly capable car no matter where you take it. Why the Range Rover is such a special car it appeals to the luxury segment while still remaining rugged off-road in typical Land Rover style. Earlier on I was conquering the off-road trails of the forest and as it goes dark you can pull into a five-star hotel and it'll look good in either situation. Overall, how would I sum up the Evoque? Well, I think the Evoque has been loved for a long time and the love is still very strong on the market. It remains Land Rover's best-selling vehicle with enough space to comfortably seat five adults and a compact, cleverly designed body which lets you slip it into just about any parking space. The Evoque remains an incredibly clever vehicle. From me, Jason of Technobar, this has been a quick look at the Range Rover Evoque. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now. Techno